Hi Stampers! It's Trisha Shalo here with Just for the Love of Stamping and this episode is about card swaps. This is a card that I've made recently actually for an April card swap. For those of you who are not aware I do also have a card swap group and that's exactly what it's called the card swap group and it's part of Just for the Love of Stamping. Feel free to reach out and join that group if this is something that you'd be interested in. For those of you who are not familiar with what a card swap is, it's where you make multiple cards of the same card. So for instance, for the month of April, we had seven swappers participate. I had to make seven identical cards to what I have here. And then package each of those cards separately in preparation for swapping. Sign up for swaps is for the first of each is by the first of each month. And however many participants we have then is how many card swaps you need to make for delivery uh, to my house by the last Saturday of the month. Now each month has a different theme and in fact here is the schedule I have for the card swaps for just for the love of stamping. You may also be in my team swap if you're part of the twist and dabs so we have a different schedule for that group. Um, but for the public swap, this is what it looks like. So June's is going to be a fancy fold with playful colors. And then July is going to be Christmas in July. So anyone who wants to participate in some Christmas card swaps, you may be interested in that. But the schedule is posted in the group so that if you did want to prepare and make swaps ahead of time, you can. Just know that the number of participants does vary from month to month and will be the final count, like I said, as of the first of each month. So some other tips, once you have your cards made and designed, it's about packaging. We highly encourage you to stick them in a clear envelope. So Stampin' Up! does have clear medium envelopes such as this. They come in a package of 50. Um, they're very reasonably priced. Um, this actually also acts as your envelope if you want to keep it. Um, but the very important part is to stick on the back uh, your label. Who is this? Um, just so that we know whose swap it is. Now, the label should not be on the card. It can be on the envelope. It can be on the sticky note. Um, but you do just want to make sure you mark who they are so that as people receive them, they know who to give credit to if they want to case the card, copy the card, or remake them. So that's a little tip. Um, another tip is uh, we actually do not use envelopes. So there's no need to provide envelopes with your card swaps um, because the idea is is most of them should be in the standard card size, so five and a half inches by four and a quarter, which fit the standard Stampin' Up! envelopes. And so the idea is is folks would have their own envelopes if they wanted to tuck that into something. So again, keep it as simple or as advanced as you want. Um, when I do say simple though, we do expect some layers. Um, this is a perfect card swap because it has a little bit of pattern paper, it has some stamped images, and another layer. You don't need to have too many layers, but we also don't want it too simple because a lot of people put time and effort into these cards, so we want to make sure that in return they're also getting a card that had some time and effort put into it. Now we're not expecting intricate details by any means. We don't want you to spend hours and hours on your card swaps, but we do want them to look beautiful. So do put forward your best work and make sure that they are packaged in time for swapping. I'll also post the link here a little bit uh, later so that you can check out the card swap group if that's something you're interested. I'll also put pictures of some of these cards from this last card swap. And if you have any questions, please reach out. In the meantime, happy stamping.